Pollock Scott Trans Limited. Total Logistics Solutions. This afternoon we're at Inverleith for the RBS Premier 2 clash between visitors Selkirk and Stuart's Melville. Selkirk need a win this afternoon to get themselves up into the playoffs. Stuart's Melville, their top of Premier 2, they'll go into Premier B for the playoffs after the new year. A massive game here for Selkirk. And they know that results elsewhere don't matter. If they win, they're into the playoffs. And early on, sharp move there. And oh, beautiful ball. And Gavin Craig gliding through after only two minutes. <laughs> the Stuart's Melville defence, you have to say, completely posted missing. And David Cassidy sliding that one inside the post. 7-0 to Selkirk after only a couple of minutes. That was just the start that Philip Hall boys wanted. 20 minutes gone. Nice ball off the bank there. Malcolm McBee slinging it out to Darren Clapperton. Clapperton knocked over by Hayden Lingard. And pinched there, but pinched illegally to referee Malcolm Gray. And another chance for David Cassidy. And this one straight through the post. That was still going up when it went through the post, my goodness. Ten points to nil. And Selkirk are flying. Stu Mel, well, didn't really go off the bus in the first half. And not making much of an impression on the Selkirk defence there. Penalty spotted by the referee, though. Playing advantage. Very slow ball coming back though. And Pro Risoleri making no impact on the fringe defence of Selkirk. But Malcolm Gray spotted an offence. Played advantage. Nothing happening for Stu Mill. And back for Michael Hanning to get them on the board. With a penalty four minutes short of half time. Selkirk still trying to get more points on the board before the break. And setting up a good drive there on Rory Aglen's take. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. And then set back for Michael McVie. Wee box kick. Rory banks after it. And Richard Borthwick under it. Oh, we fumbled there. Ball went backwards. Tied up by Ross Nixon for Selkirk. Coming back again. Oh, big thumping run by Callum Johnson. Over the 22. Free ball there to the referee, but picked up by Gavin Craig. Selkirk throwing everything into the last couple of minutes here before half time. And Clement Lacour, the big prop, taking it up almost to the five metre line. McVie in there, slinging it out to Ross Nixon. Lovely ball, reaching Darren Clapperton. We jink inside, and another one. Up to Aglen, held short, but oh, an offload to Darren Clapperton, putting him over right at the post. What a great continuity try by Selkirk. They kept their discipline, kept their heads, and that was a smashing try. David Cassidy bangs it over, 17 points to three at half time. Is that going to be enough for Selkirk to get themselves into Premier B? Pollock Scott Trans Limited. Total Logistics Solutions. Stu Mill coaches and captain probably told them at half time it'd be a good idea if they turned up for the second half because they certainly didn't seem to in the first half. And they came out all guns blazing. Riso Liri thumping into the Selkirk 22. Much more positive start now from Stu Mel. Uh, chip ahead there by Cade Whiting. Weaver of a fumble. The ball's over the line, but referee Malcolm Gray very well positioned. And held up. No try for Stu Mel, but they kept up the pressure and... Ten minutes into the second half. Referee spotted a penalty, but 
again playing good advantage giving the home side the chance to make the most of this possession ball out to Michael Hanning oh lovely wee flip on there picked up by Joe Pavin Pavin inside one man but held up by Fraser Harkness but Angus Lean is the man lurking at the back and the big second row come flanker crashing over for Stu Mill's first try after 10 minutes of the second half Michael Hanning's conversion over oh, with an assist from the post but 17 points to 10 Stu Mill reducing that margin to only 7 points and getting much much more of the ball much more of the play than they did in the first half Hanning out to Neil Bowie inside to Matt Hanney and held up just short there but the referee spotted the offence the ball into the corner and thrown to the front taken by Scott Brewster and a big big drive on there and the man coming out with the ball and over the line number eight Johnny Hare oh boy 15 points to 17 quarter an hour to go all to play for what a game we've got on here at Inverleith Stu Mill though a lot more possession a lot more territory in the second half and Selkirk feeling the pressure just a wee bit now referee Malcolm Gray spotting an offence I don't think anybody in the Selkirk team agreed with it but he saw it he's given it and Michael Hanning's converted it and that takes Stu Mill into the lead for the first time. One point in the lead, nine minutes to go. And Selkirk, well, they knew that time was running out. They were going to have to pull something out the bag. And the forwards driving in there. They're going to play right to the very end. And they've won the penalty. Well, the man you want to be kicking it for you in that sort of situation is David Cassidy. He doesn't miss many, he didn't miss that one. Selkirk, two points ahead. And now we're getting into injury time. Oh, big bust there by try scorer Angus Lean. Held up just short of the line, great tackle by David Cassidy. Callum Marshall in there. Rob Patterson, Donald Sangster. Oh, held up, inchy shot. Keeping the ball alive and swinging it out wide. But oh, interception there over the 22. And Fraser Hartness taking the ball out of the danger zone. The cavalry arriving and winning the scrum for Selkirk. This is crucial. It's two minutes into injury time. And it's got to be keep the ball time for Selkirk if they're going to hold on to that two point lead. Stu Mel poised there to pounce on any mistake that Selkirk make, but Selkirk running the clock down. All they've got to do is keep the ball, keep their discipline. Referee Malcolm Gray couldn't be closer. He's keeping a very, very close eye on what's happening. Shaking his head, no penalty there, he's saying. Selkirk. Hanging on to the ball, but oh my goodness. Penalty given away. And Michael Hanning, no mistake. Final whistle goes. Absolute joy for Stuart Melville. But heartbreak for Selkirk. Uh, probably saved our worst half of the season for today, um, which was disappointing in the first half. But I think that's a measure of how far this team's come. Never know when we're beat, um, and we're going to need that determination taking it into Prem B after the new year. Uh, you can see it written on the Selkirk boys' faces. That was absolute agony to lose it with the final kick of the game and deny them the chance of being in Premier B and playing for one of the places in Premier 1 next year. Stu Mellil of that chance, though, they're now into the playoffs. And who knows what can happen after New Year. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at Inverleith.